look at this. We got another round of storms last night and got, I think, close to another inch and a quarter. And uh, that puts us at, we just hit the 40 inch mark for this year. So I uh, went through a real, real bad dry spell in uh, July and August. Um, but then I think we've gotten close to three inches in the past week. So thankful for that. Um, it definitely does create a big mess out here, but hey, that's okay. Taking care of the, take care of the grass and and all that good stuff. So they're doing good. I know I say that about every time I turn on the video. I say they're doing good, but they are. Aren't you? Aren't you? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go check on. Uh, fence line again of course and uh, I'm sure we got a t-post leaning up against it Wow Wow look at that that water just rushing out of Blondie's pond Hey Blondie Hey girl decimated the grass in this pen a lot faster than I thought and by a lot faster I mean it's Tuesday and they got here Saturday so they are getting some hay man honestly these got these guys and gals well Billy and the calves and y'all know what I mean when I say guys I mean all of them when these guys uh they've been so comfortable already they I think they they know this is home already so we're honestly probably gonna let them out this weekend so give them a hay bale that should get them through the week I'll feed them a couple more times and, and then it will release them into pasture so let's get them this hay bale
dog, loving that. It's all right, little one. My little heifer calf. She's actually gonna get named. Good looking at the calf. Man. Hey Billy. What are you doing, buddy? Wow. I love this place. It's just so beautiful. Let's go check the creek. Again. Yeah, I got two T-posts sitting up against the line and I just don't want to get in right now. So I need like a big pole or something. I can just reach over there and push them for a temporary fix, but we don't have animals right now, you know, out. They're not out to pasture yet, so um, I'm just trying to keep other critters, coyotes and some other dogs we've seen on their place and foxes and rabbits, all that stuff from messing with the uh, fence and, you know, pushing a jumper up against a piece of metal or something like that but that's why we've been having it on this week plus we're releasing on Saturday so I gotta figure something out at that creek it just every single rain pushes those t-posts over if y'all have any suggestions please let me know
to get on that trailer. Please. Yeah, there's food in there, bro. Go get it. Go get it.